Hello guys, you are welcome to our class for today. This is um, Noble Man Science to Source Online and I remain Otobo Michael. Um, for our class for today, we are going to be starting uh, our discussion on gas laws. And for this particular class, we'll be looking at pressure. So as I've always said, please just get your writing materials so that um, we can go straight to the class. And before then, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. You can also reach us via the WhatsApp number that is showing right on your screen. So guys, if you are ready, let's go straight to our class for today. And as I said, we are starting our lecture on gas laws. We are starting with uh, pressure. Okay, so you know from your secondary school definition that um, pressure of a gas or a fluid is um, defined as the force per unit area exerted by the gas or the fluid. Okay, and mathematically stated, pressure is stated as force all over area force all over area we know that the unit of force is missing and then the unit of area is meter square so which means that the si unit of pressure is newton per meter squared is that okay now for further derivation of the unit of pressure or the formula for pressure we know that from this equation of force over area we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity okay so force is equal to mass translation to gravity so you just put that as all over area now when you are talking about uh, density see because some because pressure is related to density and volume so when you are talking about density we know that the density of a fluid the density of a fluid is um, given as mass all over volume so which means that mass is equal to density times volume and that is what i represented here as uh, this okay so now if you substitute this information of mass into this particular equation you will now have that pressure will be equal to density this density times volume times acceleration due to gravity all over area right so you can relate these two equations together now all right you can now relate these two equations together now you know that um, volume is area times length so we can also see that volume is equal to area times height area times height so, right volume is area times length you will still have the same unit of a uh, meter cube or centimeter cube so this volume is represented by this area times height. Okay, so overall, you can now have this equation as pressure is equal to density times area times height times as to the gravity all over area. So this area can actually cancel out. Okay, so this can actually cancel out, which is this. This can actually cancel out. So the final equation will now be this. Okay, so this becomes your final equation. So pressure is equal to density times height times acceleration due to gravity. Is that okay? So this is the this is another formula for pressure. Beside this, this is another formula for pressure. Depending on the variables that are given, you can either use this equation or you can also use this to find the pressure. Is that okay? So pressure is density times height or depth times acceleration due to gravity because Definitely, when you are talking about pressure, you are talking about height or depth, okay, times acceleration to gravity. So, and this unit, this gives you a unit of Newton per meter square. Right now, also in the discussion of pressure, you are looking at atmosphere, okay? So, you are looking at atmospheric pressure, the pressure of the atmosphere or any object that is under its influence, okay? So, atmospheric pressure, one atmosphere, 
or one atmospheric pressure is also given as this 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square and also other units of pressure is pascal and then millimeter ag of mercury so one atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 millimeter mercury okay so these are other um, units of pressure and their values is that okay so this is basically introduction to pressure and then this is the formula for calculation of uh, pressure all right so this is introduction to pressure and having discussed this introduction i will solve a problem but i want you to know that the instrument for measurement of pressure you can use the manometer and then you also have the barometer for pressure measurements is that okay so you have the manometer the barometer for pressure measurement now let's solve a problem to drive on these two formulas that we just discussed okay so this is a problem that we need to solve it says that a rectangular water tank of width 4.5 times 10 raised to the power 3 newton measures 2.0 meter by 1.5 meter by 1.2 meter calculate the the minimum pressure it can exert when resting on a horizontal surface. So here you are beginning the force. The weight is equal to the force, which is equal to 4.5 times 10 raised to power 3 raised to power 3 newton. Sorry about that. Super three newton. Then you are giving the sides to be length or giving 2.0 meters. Um, breadth will be 1.5 meters and then height to be um, 1.2 meters. Okay, so to find the area to get the maximum area of this uh, tank, you have area is equals to um, equal to length times breadth. So that gives you 2.0 times 1.5 times 1.5. All right, so times 1.5. So that gives us uh, 3.0 meter squared. Okay, 3.0 meter. So from our formula, pressure is equal to um, force over area. Right? So just substitute into this equation. You have 4.5 times 10 to the power 3 Newton all over. 3.0 meter squared okay so by the time you do your division out if you divide this one out you are going to have that your pressure will be 1.5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 newton per meter squared Okay, so that is how to apply the first formula for pressure that we just discussed. All right, so that is how to apply that formula that we just discussed. And the next one, we're going to solve another problem again so that we'll use the second formula. Okay, so this is another question that we need to solve. So, so a reservoir is filled with a liquid of density 2000 kg per meter cube. Calculate the depth at which the pressure in the liquid will be equals to 9118 per meter square. Take G to be equals to 10 meter per second square. Fine. So in this particular question, you have been given pressure already. You are giving the pressure to be 91 zero zero newton um, per meter squared 
as was given to you then you are given the density of the liquid the density of the liquid is given to you to be 2000 kg meters cube we know that density is uh, mass over volume is that okay so we are asked to find the depth or the height so h is what we don't know we don't know this uh, g is given to us to be 10 meters per second squared now we said that pressure from that formula that p is equals to density times height times g so we are looking for heights so make the h the subject of your formula so we the height is equals to pressure all over density times g now substitute all these values into this equation so that you have that uh, you now have 9100 all over 2000 multiplied by 10 okay so by the time you do your division out and do your cancellation out you will have that the height is 0. 0.4 six meters approximately so that will be the depth at which the pressure of the liquid will be equals to 9100 newton per meter squared i hope this application is uh, relatively simple and you can follow through and solve some other problems also in your textbook is that okay so we we'll still go further to discuss some other areas of pressure atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure you know that every object that is on the atmosphere there's a pressure that acts on it now when we are looking at uh, mercury as a barometric liquid we are told that uh, atmospheric pressure at sea level corresponds to a barometric height of 76 centimeter or 760 millimeters hg as the case may be so if you take the unit of uh, the height of barometer to be in centimeter it will be 76 centimeter mercury but if you take the height of the mercury to be uh, in millimeter to be 760 millimeter mercury now the density of mercury is equals to one is equals to 13,600 kilogram meters per per meters cube okay and acceleration to gravity is equals to 10 meters per second squared so if we have all these informations we can actually calculate atmospheric pressure all right so from this information that we have density is uh, 13,600 times 0 0.76 um, meters of mercury times as due to gravity so if you uh, substitute all those informations into this equation this is what you are going to have so if you multiply all this out you have this value and remember that in our initial discussion we said that atmospheric pressure is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square so this is actually the value for atmospheric pressure so in case you are not given atmospheric pressure in a particular question and you need to use to solve and maybe you have forgotten if you can remember that the density of mercury is this 13,600 kilogram meters cube per meters cube and you know acceleration due to gravity and you are able to remember the height of mercury which is 76 centimeter or 0 0.76 meters uh, mercury then you can easily find the pressure so that you can use to solve any problem that you want to solve right so one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter eg 
or it is equals to if the unit is in uh, <coughs> SI, it's equals to 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. So other unit of pressure, you have the bar, you also have the Pascal. So one bar is equals to this, it's equals to 1.013 times 10 to the power 5. Uh, Newton per meter square or 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal, depending on which unit you are taking your pressure. So when you see a pressure of 1 bar, you know that you are talking about 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square, or you are talking about 760 millimeter mercury, as the case may be, depending on um, what you are looking for. That's okay. So this, uh, this is just basically about atmospheric pressure and I still want us to go through some problems. I still want us to solve some problems that we drive home more points on this topic of pressure. Right? So, you know, as I've always said, that physics doesn't have much theory. It's about calculations. Once you are able to understand the principle and the definition of the concept, then the next thing is for you to solve problems so that you have a better grasp and understanding of what you are discussing. So on pressure, the more problems we solve, the more we will get more understanding. So let's solve more other problems, right? Okay, so this question says that um, you should calculate the height of water that will support one atmosphere of pressure. We are given the density of water to be 1000 kg per meter cube and as return to gravity is given to you to be 9.8 meter per second squared. Okay, so what they are telling you that what will what level what type of water will one atmosphere of pressure support? What height of water will one atmosphere of pressure support? Okay, so we know that one atmosphere of pressure, one atmosphere, from what we discussed earlier, one atmosphere is given to us to be 76, 76 centimeter mercury, right? And this is also equals to 0 0.76 meters mercury. Okay, and we also said that the density of mercury is equal to 13,600 13, um, kilogram per meter cube. Then here we will be giving a G. G is given to us to be equals to 9.8 meters per second squared okay so what we'll now do is that you are going to equate one atmosphere say one atmosphere is equals to the pressure that is acting on the water so one atmosphere is equals to rho hg Okay, density of water is given to us to be equals to density of water is given to us to be 1000 kilogram per meter cube. All right, so let's substitute these values into this one atmosphere of pressure, one atmosphere pressure is equals to the density of mercury multiplied by the height of mercury which is 0 0.76 multiplied by uh, as we turn to gravity is equal to the density of water multiplied by the height multiplied by the as we turn to gravity okay so we will now make uh, the height of water as a subject of formula so that you have 13,600 multiplied by 0 0.76 multiplied by 
all over 1000 multiplied by 9.8 okay so from this this can readily cancel out then you can actually punch all this out in your calculator if you punch that from your calculator you're going to have 10 point three four meters approximately so approximately you have that the height of water that one atmosphere can support is equals to 10.34 meters or is equals to 10 meters as the case may be right approximately is equals to 10 meters as the case may be so from this particular calculation we now know that one atmosphere of pressure right at sea level one atmosphere of pressure will support 10 meters of water it will support a height of 10 meters of water is that okay in subsequent calculation we are going to see where this particular value is applied all right okay so let's take another problem once more before we go to your test your understanding page all right so this is another question this is another question that still tests um, understanding so a diver is 5.2 meters below the surface of water of density 1000 kilogram per meters cube if the atmospheric pressure is 1.02 times 10 to the power 5 pascal calculate the pressure on the diver take g to be 10 meters per second squared that okay now for the diver that is under the water of 5.2 meters the pressure that will be on the driver will be equals to will be equals to atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to the height that the driver is in that plus the pressure due to the height that the driver is in don't forget that pressure is rho hg that is density times height times acceleration due to gravity so this is the pressure that will be on the diver pd just put it as pd pressure on driver is of diver is atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to the height at which the driver the diver is in okay so here yeah, you are beginning atmospheric pressure to be 1.0 times 10 to the power 5 um, pascal and then we are given that the um, density of water is 1000 and then we know the value of g we know the, and then we also know the height so height is given to us to be uh, 5.2 meters uh, density of water is given to us to be 1000 kg uh, kilogram per meters cube then you already know your g to be equals to 10 10 meters per second squared so these are what has begun to us. so let's substitute them to this question pressure on the diver will be equals as i said i'm showing pressure which is 1.02 times 10 raised to power 5 okay plus density of water times height of diver times uh, 10 okay so by the time you work this out you're going to have 1.02 times 10 raised to power 5 plus 5 5.2 plus 5.2 times 10 raised to power 4. Okay, so by the time you add these two together, by the time you add these values together, you are going to have 1.54 times 10 raised to power 5 Newton per meters squared or 1.54 times 10 raised to power 5 pascal okay so this is how to apply the equations for pressure to solve 
some problems. I hope this is relatively simple and straight to the point. Is that okay? So you can solve more problems by going to the page. Please try to solve all these problems. They are for your test your understanding, test your comprehension. Is that okay? The stylus of a of a phonograph of a phonograph record exact a force of 7.7 .7 times 7 power minus 2 on a groove of radius this compute the pressure exerted by the stylus on the groove uh, this is a jam question you know that uh, since they are talking about a groove it is a circular shape so and once you see radius so you should know the formula to use to calculate your area uh, i'm not going to give you that so you can from there you know that pressure is equal to force over area and then so i think that is a hint for that is that okay that's a hint for that then this one a man exerts a pressure of this on the ground and has this uh, okay so the pressure of this one is uh, force over area that is that is simple for you to calculate this one is calculate the length of the leak of the liquid in a barometer tube that will support and as much pressure of this the density of the liquid is this this is just exactly the problem that we just solved now so you can review it again and then so that you can be able to solve all this problem please test your understanding and solve more problems from your past jam questions if you have if you have any is that okay so thanks a lot guys this is where we are stopping this class but before i go Please, guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. You can reach us through the WhatsApp number that is on there. Then you can also, from our video, you see the link to this WhatsApp. Right, okay. Click on the link and join that WhatsApp chat. Then, if you have any problem, just post them on that place. I will listen to them. I will review all the questions and then I will also make my comments. If you have any challenge in physics, you can also reach us too. We are here to support you so that you can become a better you, right? We want you to be better. We want you to do better in physics. And that is why we are bringing this um, lecture to your very doorstep, right? So this is No My Science Tutors Online. And I remain to my care. I'll see you in our next uh, class. Thanks a lot.